What's up guys, in this video I wanted to show you a simple but crazy effective agent that's going to allow you to essentially fire your graphic designer or if you don't have a graphic designer, allow you to not have to hire a graphic designer and instead use this agent. It's going to be able to generate logos, ad creatives, landing page mockups and even assets for your brand. So we're going to jump right in and I'll show you how it all works and if you stay for the video you'll be able to see how you can get the free template for this and get started with it straight away. Okay, so we're in NAN now and this is how the agent looks and I'm going to give you a quick overview of it and then we're going to jump into a demo so you can see exactly how it works. So really, really simple agent setup. If you've used NAM before, you'll know exactly how this setup looks. But just to give you a breakdown, we have a when chat message is received. This just means that we can chat with the agent via a chat window in NAN like this. And then we have our actual AI agent here. And then we have the OpenAI chat model connected up, which is essentially gonna act as our brain. It's the LLM that's powering this agent. So for this, we're using GPT 4.1 mini. And then we have a simple buffer memory. So this just means if you don't know what this is, it allows the agent to remember, in this case, the last five messages in the conversation. So you can change this number to anything you like, but right now it's set to five. So it's gonna remember the last five messages in the conversation and just makes the conversations flow a little bit more naturally. And then down here, we have the actual main tool so we have generate logo, generate ad creative, generate asset, and then landing page mockup. And these nodes here are all executing another workflow. So this just means we've made another workflow somewhere else in NAN and we're calling upon it with these nodes here. So I'm gonna show you how this all works now. If we test this out, let's say something to it like, I want to generate a logo for my sportswear brand then we can send that off and it's going to hit us back with a couple of questions uh requirements that it needs to create this logo so what is the name of the brand let's say something like um i've got a lamp on my desk let's just say lamp sportswear an industry or type of sportswear let's say gym wear and then what viable personality let's say fun and creative with an elegant twist so a little bit vague there fun and creative and elegant twist you can be as detailed as you like answering all these questions of course if you actually have a brand you're going to be able to answer these questions much better because you can give more detail on each question uh do you have any preferred core colors for the logo let's just say um blue and black and then where will the logo primarily be used let's just say on our t-shirts okay cool so now it's going to use the generate logo tool and it will take a second it will come back to us with a link and then we can actually view this logo okay cool so it's come back to us with a link so if we open this link we can see the logo that's made for us okay so here we go cool little design here and then obviously got the name of our brand perfect and it's done it with a transparent background by default which is really nice so we can actually use this logo straight away now we're going to try and generate an ad creative let's say i now want to create an ad for my brand and now i want to create an ad for my brand and it's going to come back to us again with some questions to answer so what is the name of the product you want to advertise let's say lamp sports wear uh t-shirts who's your target audience let's say um males aged 18 to 30 for example and then what is the key benefit or message you want to highlight in the ad let's say uh breathable sports where text i said breathable uh sportswear tech and what's the platform let's say instagram what tone do you want for the ad uh let's say fun and playful and energetic do you want to include your brand color palette in the ad yes black and blue okay so left it quite vague but let's send it off and just see what it comes back with okay so this is what it's come back with let's again open this link a new tab and you can see pretty cool actually looks really good so stay cool play hard added a nice little tagline for us got our shirt in there and obviously a realistic looking guy wearing a sportswear shirt so absolutely perfect now let's say uh i want to create a landing page in the same style and then again it's going to hit us back with some questions for us to answer so name of the site is going to be same thing lamp sports where then what mood or atmosphere do you want the landing page to have let's say fun and energetic again same thing what should the call to action be let's say just buy now keep it simple what kind of feature visual would you like a uh, realistic 
action shot of a man in the gym wearing one of our shirts. So kind of similar to that ad there. And then you prefer a specific grid layout, which is going to say single column. Perfect. Send that off and then see what it comes back with. Okay, so it's come back with this. Again, let's just open this link up and see what it's given us. Okay, perfect. So we've got a simple landing page design here that of course we could use on our landing page or we could just chuck to an LLM to actually code us this landing page for us. So perfect. Now we're just gonna say, can you create me a quick asset? I want a, I want the name of our brand on a sports uh, drinks bottle let's just say so quite simple the name of the brand on a drinks bottle for the gym uh type of asset you want let's just say 3d render style and then the theme or keyword so for this we're just gonna say bottle and then dimensions of the asset uh let's just say one by one let's just have it a square uh any preferred core colors or style hints super realistic and blue and black okay perfect okay cool so it's come back to us again let's just open this link up and see this asset that i made okay perfect there we go very cool by the way guys if you want to get a free template for this if you just come over to commonus you can either just type it up or you can just follow the link in the description of this video you can just go to templates and you can see on here there's a whole library of all of my templates along with some other creators that have also posted their templates on here you can type up the one you're looking for or like i said you can just follow the link in the description and it'll take you directly to it and then you can just hit view details and you can go i want this template and then you can see here you'll be able to download the template and then you can also have this video to go along with it to walk you through in case you forget how any of it works and then down here as well there's some more templates that you can also download in case you wanted to so if you want to grab your free template come over to Commonus or follow the link in the description and you can get it for completely free. So now we're gonna look into each of these tools and I'll show you exactly how to make them and the breakdown of all of them. Luckily, they're all quite simple and they're all very similar. So you shouldn't have too much trouble getting your head around how the tools work. So if we look at this first one, generate logo, if we open up this workflow, you can see at the beginning, they're all gonna look very similar to this. At the beginning, we have when executed by another workflow. And if we look in here, the only thing that we're gonna be receiving is description. So this main agent is just gonna be inputting description description into this tool and it's going to go into a prompt generation llm and then this is where the magic happens this is where we're actually going to get specific prompts to use for an ai image generator so i'm not going to read you through this whole prompt but basically in here we're telling the llm that it's a logo designer and we've given it all of these different rules and instructions here on how to create the best looking logo so declare it as a vector logo and state the brand name choose a logo structure um icon plus word mark emblem abstract monogram etc specifies style attributes line weight symmetry viewport padding so all of this different stuff this llm is going to be generating a prompt that's going to include all of this different stuff based on what we've given it and it's going to return just the prompt here so this llm is going to output just a prompt that kind of encapsulates everything that we said to it that we want in this logo and then it's just going to make it way more detailed and way more precise and then we pass this over to a http request step here and all we're doing here is we're just sending over an API call to ChatGPT to use its image generation model. So we use this endpoint URL here, and then it's content type application JSON, and then authorization, and then your API key. And then this is the actual body that we're sending over. So the model is GPT image one, the prompt is going to be the output from that LLM step. And then you can leave these as you like, or of course you can change the size and stuff. But for us, we're just going to leave it as it is. And these are all going to be square images. And basically what that's going to do is it's going to return to us this massive binary file. And if you don't know what binary is, it's basically just to us, just looks like a massive bunch of just ones and zeros, random numbers and letters that mean literally nothing to us, but it just contains the data for an image. And what we do is we use this convert to file node here and we set it to move base 64 for string to file and then and then this is the name of the data that gets sent over from the http request and then we just output it into a data field and this is going to give us an actual file containing that image and then we just do google drive upload the file and the reason we do this is so we can get that image link that our llm or our agent was giving to us so it's going to give us an actual image link by uploading that image to our google drive and then edit fields we just grab the web view link from the output of the google drive set because google drive will just output a bunch of data to you that you don't need you can see some of them here like kind id name mime type all of these different data points here that we just don't need so we just grab web view link and then we end the scenario with that and then whatever it ends with gets sent back to our main agent here through this tool 
So if we look at the execution, you can see exactly how this went down. This is the one that we just sent off. So it received brand name, Lamp Sportswear, industry, gym wear, brand vibe, fun and creative with an elegant twist, cool colors, blue and black, usage context on our shirts, perfect. And then the prompt generation agent, outputted this entire prompt here that just went in way more detail and made it way more precise. And then that got passed over to our HTTP request step here that like you can see, passed through all this binary data that means literally nothing to us. And then we convert that into a file that looks like this, which again, we can't really do anything with, but this means it's actually in a file, the image is in that file. And then we upload that to our Google Drive, get all of this data back, and then we just grab the web view link, edit fields, set the web view link to web view link. So it means it just outputs web view link. And that's the only thing that gets sent back to our main agent. So that's how the logo designer one works. If we look back into this, we're gonna skip add creative for now because there's some more steps in there. If we go to generate assets and then view the actual workflow, you can see this one looks very, very similar and it is the exact same. The only thing in here that's different is the prompt. So if we have a look at the prompt here, again, we're just doing the same thing. We're saying you're a multidisciplinary graphic designer and then we're just saying what's gonna be inputted to it. And then we're just saying again, create a prompt to make this better. So 95 words, it's gonna include all of these different things here, to basically improve the prompt. And another important thing, by the way, at the bottom, we have to make sure that this is, it's not in JSON, but we have to make sure that because it's being inputted into a JSON body, it doesn't contain any sort of illegal characters. So things like the speech marks, the quote marks, the brackets, that kind of stuff. If you send that over in this HTTP request, you just get thrown back an error because it would mean that this whole thing isn't valid JSON. So this should literally just be in plain text that gets sent over to ChatGPT to generate the image. And then again, we convert that to file, upload it to Google Drive, edit the field to just get the web view link. And then if we look at the landing page mockups workflow, open this workflow, exact same thing as the last two, but the prompt is different. So if we have a look at this prompt, open it up, you can see these are the requirements this time. So this is what is being inputted and then basically turn that into a better prompt based on this stuff here, which is just style guides and how to improve the prompt. And again, we've left this important bit at the bottom here that gets sent over to ChatGPT, creates the image, returns to us a binary, converts that into a file, uploads that to Google Drive, and then we edit fields to just get the web view link. So those three, I appreciate might be a little bit boring because they look exactly the same, but the main difference in there is the prompt. The prompt is what makes this whole thing. And then if we look at the generate ad creative, this is where it gets a little bit more interesting and a bit different. If we have a look in here, you can see again, this looks similar. This is the exact same, except we have a switch node in here. And basically this is because for this one, you're able to actually upload an image that you want in your ad creatives. So let's just say for the sports bear round, we already had some mock-ups of our t-shirts or our hoodies, or we already had the physical product and we just took a picture of it. We'd be able to upload the image and then say to the agent, use this image. So if we look at this node here, which starts this all off, we have the description input just like the other ones, but then we also have the image. So when we upload an image, the agent from before can upload the image into this input here. And then if there is an image, it'll go this way. If there isn't, it goes this way. And the way that we decide that is with this switch node here. So if you have a look in here, JSON image, which is just this image input here. If JSON image is equal to no image, then it will go this way. But if it's not equal to no image, it'll go this way. And the reason we've done that is because the agent from before has been instructed to say, if there's no image in this input, just write no image. So if the input is no image, it goes this way because there's obviously no image. But if it's anything other than no image, it means it is the actual image that's been uploaded by the agent. So in that way, it will go this way. So if we have a look at this LLM here, and we go into the prompt, you can see it's been passed through the description as well as the image and then also an image description because when the agent from before passes through the image, it will also pass through a description of the image so it knows. And then we've basically just given this a prompt that's doing the exact same thing, generating a better prompt, uh, just like the other workflows we're doing. It's generating a better prompt, but of course this time it's including that actual image. And then when that gets sent over, there's gonna have specific details on what this image is and then specific instructions to actually include this in the advert. And then of course, same thing, send this off to ChatGPT to generate, convert it into a file, upload to Google Drive and then edit fields. And then this one down here looks almost identical except we haven't given it the image and the image description because there isn't one, but this prompt is almost the same except we've just left out the bit about including in an image and anything like that. And by the way, if you wanna actually call upon another workflow, I didn't explain these nodes initially, 
it's just going to be a call another workflow node and you just set a name something that the llm will be able to use to sort of determine which tools which is just a simple name like generate logo and then you pick the workflow that you're calling upon so in this case it's logo designer and then down here it will say the inputs for this which is description and then if you just click this button here it's going to be defined automatically by the model so this just means the agent can just automatically define whatever it thinks should go in here we'll go into that input now we can have a look at the prompt for the actual agent so if we come into here this is the prompt so we've basically said you're an orchestration brain of an ar automation stack you converse with end users decide which specialist agent to use collect any missing information and pass a clean validated json payload to that agent after the specialist returns its image generation prompt you deliver the final answer or asset link back to the user and then basically what we've done is we've just listed out each agent that it has access to here so so the ad creative generator the landing page generator asset generator and then also logo generator and then we also just set the required fields so things like brand name industry brand vibe and then optional fields are core colors and usage context but majority of the time it just asks us that anyway and basically all this agent is instructed to do is when you get an input just simply determine what it's for so a logo an asset a landing page and add creative which is able to do pretty easily and then just make sure you get these required fields and then if we scroll down we just have a little section at the bottom here for sort of like a decision workflow so classify the user's request into one of the content types above if ambiguous ask one concise clarifying question so basically if it's not too sure just confirm with the user ask user only for the missing items grouping them into a single question when possible and then return to the user the link for the image and then just the output from this step here so that is it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you learned something about creating these graphic design agents that that can allow you to not depend on these people that you've been depending on before like a graphic designer or just allow you to not have to hire an expensive graphic designer and instead use something like this if you did want to work with me so we can figure out the problems in your business and then build custom ai solutions to solve these issues then then i've left a link to my website in the description you go ahead and book up a free call and we can talk about some ways to integrate ai into your business and like i mentioned make sure to grab that free template so you can get started with this straight away if there's any more videos you'd like to see in the future please do just let me know and i'll try my best to get around to doing them but if not i'll see you in the next video